EV bill management. In this presentation, we'll discuss about generating EV bill. From busy, you can generate EV bill in more than one way. Like you have the option to generate EV bill automatically, but that option is provided only when you have active busy license subscription. Similarly, there is another option in which you can generate EV bill using the JSON file and you can generate the EV bill through as per government template. In this presentation, we'll discuss all these ways for automatic EV bill generation. You can refer to our video auto generation of EV bill uploaded on YouTube. This video is basically divided into two parts. Part one for standard and enterprise edition users, which will include auto generation of EV bill for single multiple vouchers and generation of JSON file for single multiple vouchers. In the second part, part B will discuss about the basic edition users in which we'll see the generation of Excel file for single multiple vouchers. First of all, we'll start with our part A that is for standard and enterprise edition users. There are two ways that is either you can generate eBay bill automatically or you can generate the JSON file. We'll discuss the creation of JSON file, uploading JSON file on eBay bill portal and then the eBay bill number which we'll get out that eBay bill number we will update in the vouchers. So first of all, we'll start with the configuration part. We'll go to administration, configuration, features option, GST, VAT tab. Here we'll enable the option of eBay bill required. We'll click the configure button on clicking the configure button and EV bill configuration window will appear in which first of all we'll specify the from place and pin code that is the material center from where the goods will be dispatched. Next is the option of amount after which EV bill is applicable for B2B and B2C transactions that is the minimum amount on which and above which bills will be considered for generating EV bill. Next is EV bill required in local transactions. Specify why in this data field if you want EV bill for local transactions also. Then you need to specify that you want EV bill in local transactions for both B2B and B2C transactions or only B2B transactions. Amount after which EV bill is applicable for B2B transaction. Here you need to specify the amount for local transactions. Next is distance after which EV bill is applicable in kilometers. That is, you need to specify the distance exceeding which the EV bill will be. Be required for local transactions. You can leave this data field as zero also. You can specify zero in this data field also, which means that EV bill is required in all the cases in local transactions. There is no restriction of kilometers. Next is amount on which EV bill is applicable. That is the amount you have specified above 50,000 or 1 lakh is the bill amount or the taxable amount. That is the you want to consider bill amount or taxable amount for generation of EV bill. Restrict sub user to change EV bill applicability in Voucher, specify why in this data field if you want to restrict sub user to make any changes in the EV bill applicability in vouchers. Next is auto generation of EV bills. In this box, specify why in the option enable auto generation of EV bill if you want to generate EV bill automatically. This option is available only in standard and enterprise editions and that too when you have a active busy license subscription. Next, you need to specify the EV bill GSP user ID and EV bill GSP password for auto generation of EV bill. For details on auto generation of EV bill, you can refer to our video auto generation of EV bill uploaded on YouTube. We have a separate video for this section. In this section, we'll focus mainly on the JSON part and generating file as per the government template for our basic edition users. Specify why in the transport details in local sale purchase transaction if you want transport details to appear in the local transactions also. Click save button to save this configuration. Next we will configure our parties. Basically in our parties we will specify the from place, distance in kilometers, pin code and all these details. Basically we will specify the default details with the party. For this we will go to the account master, modify option and select the required party. Here you need to specify the transport station pin code, distance, mode, all these details will be picked automatically at the time of voucher entry. So it, you are not required to enter these details at the time of voucher entry. However, you can make changes at the time of voucher entry also. Next, we'll configure our material centers. We'll specify from place, from station and pin code in the material center. Again, we'll go to material center, modify option, select the required material center and specify all these details. 
next we'll go to transaction gst miscellaneous utilities under this option we'll select the input transporters gst and id option to update transporter details here at the bottom you can see a load transporters button is appearing click this button and all the transporters you have created till now will appear in the list specify their gst and id address place pin code state all these details you need to specify here if you want to create a new transporter also you can create from this grid also it is a very important step you need to specify the transporter details till now we have discussed about the eway bill configuration that is enabling of eway bill configuring our parties material centers and specifying the transporters gst and id now is the main part that is we'll go to our transaction sales add option and add a sale voucher specify the header related details of the sales voucher specify item related details select bill sundry on clicking the save button a transport details window will appear in which you will be entering the transport details here an add new button is provided click this button to create a new transporter below this there is an option double click to update gst and id double click on this caption to update any transport details you can see the screen is appearing you can make the required changes then specify the grrr number vehicle number eway bill required yes and eway bill number blank that is currently we don't have the eway bill number click okay button next page is asking want to generate eway bill click yes button you can see four options are appearing automatic json as per government template plain excel automatic as we have said earlier also there is a separate video for this in this part we'll click the json button to create a json file on clicking the json button a screen will appear specify the path where json file is created we have specified the path of the desktop click ok button a message box will appear in this message box you need to click the check possible errors button it is recommended to always check the possible errors before creating the json file you can see on the screen in the invalid data found column you can see for eway bill cannot be blank reason is appearing that means your data is having some error and the error is shown in this field now press the enter key select the update uqc for eway bill option and you can see the unit master screen is appearing here you need to specify the uqc for the unit boxes we have specified cartons here click save button and details will be updated now you can see there is blank screen that means your data is correct there is no error in the data next you will click the proceed with json button on clicking this button you can see on the desktop a json file has been created we have given the path of the desktop so here a json file is created next we will go to the evaybill.nic.in website click login button specify your username password on the left hand side you will click the eway bill option under this you will click the generate bulk option on clicking this option you can see a choose file button click this button and select the json file that you have just created if you remember we have just saved a json file on the desktop select that file click the upload button and then click the generate button to generate the eway bill Next we'll again go to the eway bill section and we'll click the print ewb option. With this option the you can print the eway bill number. You can see on the screen enter unique or ewb number the number you have just got you need to specify that eway bill number here. Click go button and you will get the eway bill slip. Next step is to update the eway bill number in the sales voucher. For this Go to sales voucher modify option select the voucher in which you want to update the eway bill number click save button in the transport details now you need to specify the eway bill number if you want you can print the sales invoice also you can see on the screen eway bill number is displayed in the voucher so this is the process you can generate a json file upload json file on the government's portal and the number you will get you need to update that number in the voucher Till now we have discussed about the single voucher and that too when you have the transport details in case you don't have the transport details or you want to generate json file for multiple vouchers then you can go to transactions gst miscellaneous utilities eway bill management generate eway bill option here again you will select the json option with this option we can create json file for multiple vouchers on clicking the json file a screen is appearing specify the starting date ending date that is the date range vouchers belonging to which will be displayed on the screen if you want you can apply a material center filter that is you want to view 
vouchers for only a particular material center then is exclude vouchers already having evable number if you enable this option then the vouchers that already have evable number will not be displayed in the list click load list button to load the list of vouchers now click the update transport details button or press the f4 key to update transport details of the selected voucher you can see on the screen a window is appearing specify the transport details and click ok button next we'll click the check evable details button to check the evable details here you can see blank invalid data found column that means your data is perfectly fine there is no error in this data next we'll click the generate evable json button or you can press the f2 key to create the json file specify the path where the json file will be created click ok button if you want you can check the possible errors otherwise click the proceed with json button you can see on the desktop again a json file has been created this json file is for multiple vouchers now you will upload the json file on the government's portal you will get the evable number and that evable number you will update in the vouchers for updating the evable number in the vouchers one option is that you need to open the vouchers individually and update evable number in them second option is this you can use this utility itself and here in the transport details window you can specify the evable number one more option is that when you generate eva bill on the government's portal there an option for downloading an excel file appears if you click the download button there an excel file will be downloaded on your computer which will have all the eva bill number details if you have downloaded that excel file then in this utility you can click the import eva bill number from excel button on clicking this button a screen will appear here you will select the excel file that you have just downloaded if you open this excel file you can see on the screen we have saved that file on the desktop it is having all the evable numbers from the voucher import that file select that file click import button and you can see on the screen evable number is automatically updated in all the vouchers from that excel file so it's a very quick and simple way of updating evable number in multiple vouchers If you want you can print invoices from here itself also click print invoice button and on the screen you can see review of the invoices with evable number printed in them this is the first voucher and then we are viewing the next voucher in both the vouchers you can see the evable number is updated automatically and you can print it from here itself also So till now we have discussed about the creating of json file uploading that file on the government's portal and updating evable number back in the vouchers either for single voucher or for multiple vouchers now we will discuss how you can generate evable if you are using our basic edition in basic edition we will see the generation of excel file for single and multiple vouchers basically in basic edition we will use the as per government template option configuration of evable is same as we have discussed in the earlier part of the transaction here we'll start with the entering of sales transaction only go to sales add option the header related details of sales voucher specify item related details select required bill sundry on clicking the save button transport details window will appear specify the required transport details evable number here also will remain blank click okay button now busy has asked for generation of evable bill file click yes button on clicking the yes button a message box is appearing with two options as per government template and plain excel select the as per government template option specify the path of the template files that is the templates that you have downloaded from government's website specify the folder in which those templates are stored next specify the path where file will be generated click okay button next again click the check possible errors button to check any errors in your data this is blank report that means your data is correct there is no error in it Next click the proceed with government template option. At the bottom of the screen an icon is flashing. If you click that icon it will show some error message invalid GST and there is no need to panic in this. Now open the file that has been created. Specify the GST and ID, legal name, address and other related details. Click validate button. You can see data has been validated successfully. After this click the prepare JSON button. Now on the screen on the desktop you can see JSON file has been created. Now again the process is same of uploading this file on the government portal we have already discussed in our earlier part of the presentation you will upload the json file on the government's evable.nic.in website however if you want to create file as per government template for multiple vouchers you can again go to transactions gst miscellaneous utilities 
ewe bill management generate ewe bill option here you will select the as per government template now a screen will appear you can see all the details are same you can update transport details here also you can check ewe bill details you can import ewe bill number from excel and print invoices also so this is a process of creating json file as per the government template and updating the ewe bill number back in the vouchers Hope after going through this presentation you would be able to easily generate eWay bill. Thanks for watching. For more videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel.